Hey, good morning to you. Hey, Jesus is Lord. <clears throat> I'm thankful to say the word works. You know, I can go to the word and change anything. Whatever's bugging me, whatever's giving me a hard time, you know, uh, lack of healing, lack of money, lack of joy, lack of happiness with my marriage. Uh, my kids maybe not being the blessing they ought to be. My grandchildren maybe doing crazy stuff. I can change all of that with the word of God. I talked to you a little bit yesterday and I want to go back to it today. You are a three-part being like God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. You are a spirit. You live in a body, and you possess a mind, which is your soul, your mind, will, and emotions. Two against one. You renew your mind to the Word of God, and your mind takes over with the spirit. Man tells the flesh, you're not going to do that. Or you'll either let the flesh get in agreement with your mind that's not renewed to the Word of God, and your flesh will say, I want that pickup truck. I want it now. Get me that truck. And the mind will figure out how to get it rather than you going to the Word of God and figuring out how God's going to bless you with it. Now, watch this. I want to help you with this. I'm talking to you about the blessings of God and renewing your mind. It's very important for you to realize you got to plant the seed of the Word of God every day. I told you this a couple of days ago, but I want to do it again. Faith doesn't come by having heard. That's why you need to be in a good Word church, a good faith church, a, ch a church where they teach the Word of God. That's why you need to watch this program every day, not just every now and then, but every day. That's why you need to have your faith books, the ones that you studied years ago, close at hand. That's why you need the Word of God. You need to go to the Word and plant the seed of the Word of God every day. You can't live on what you planted 20 years ago. Now, I know y'all know this, but, you know, I'm kind of simple in the way I think, so I'm going to tell you this from a simple standpoint. You don't just eat one meal a week and think that you're going to be all right. You know, you can have a great meal. You know, Monday morning you can get up and, and have the best breakfast that you can buy or the best breakfast that you can cook at home. But you can't get by on Thursday and Friday without eating two or three meals per day. The body is designed that it's got to have a certain amount of food. Excuse me just a minute here. Got to watch the traffic so that I can get on down the road. Well, your spirit is designed so that you've got to feed it daily several times a day. Your mind, your will, your emotions, it's designed to hear the Word of God. That's why the Word says, my son, make the Word first place in your life. That's a frank paraphrase of uh, uh, Hebrews chapter 4 verse 20. My son, attend to my Word, incline thine ear uh, unto thy sayings, keep them before the midst of thine eyes, keep them in your heart. For they, the words, are life to those that find them and hell to all of their flesh. So the Lordship of Jesus Christ is very dependent on how much time you put in the Word of God and your total victory and having everything that you want in life is very much involved in sowing daily the seed of the Word of God. Just like you eat a sandwich for lunch, maybe you eat vegetables for dinner, whatever. You eat and you eat and you eat and tomorrow you eat again. Well, you need to eat the Word of God every day. Plant the seed of the Word of God. Keep your mind renewed so that you are the one that's in charge. Hey, I got to go have a great day planting the seed of the Word of God. And remember all day, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the Word works.